Sim the World here. We are back with train station renovation. We are going to be finishing up Farmley today. Uh, probably no relation to the, or maybe it is, maybe this is the train that runs through our farming simulator series. That means I can drive the train, right? <laughs> All right. Um, if you guys haven't caught that series, that's been a lot of fun. Go check that out after this video, but today we've got some decorating to do. So let's go ahead and we need seven trash cans, 14 benches, and two ticket machines. So of course, if I need a ticket, I want to have it, you know, as convenient as possible. And of course, if you got ticket machines, you need the trash cans nearby. That way, if people need to throw them out or if they're receipts, uh, you want options for that. Okay, let's, let's set these up. That way, if people need them, they're here. You got plenty of space. That's half the trash cans. We need some benches. So, it might be nice to have some stools while you're waiting. Something kind of small. Something you don't need to worry too much about. There we go. Got those set up. And I got some nice fancy chairs. You know, sometimes people, uh, I didn't want to set that down. Yeah, they can sit around with the fancy chairs. I also figured it will throw in a few more cheaper chairs. Because this will now be set up since there are so many kids around playing uh, and drinking with the drinking the booze smoking the cigarettes I figured why not have a little circle set up so they can play some musical chairs uh, do something constructive with their time instead of the graffiti and of course when they're done uh, drinking all those beer bottles and cigarettes Let's throw the last of the trash cans down at this end. Of course, it's in one convenient place, so the uh, building manager will be happy. It'll be easy to collect all the trash at the end of the night. And that takes care of that. All right, so let's jump on over to the other side. I actually went ahead and set that up already, too. Actually, I should sell these trash dumpsters while we're here, too. Let me do that. Get our money back. There we go, $800 back in our pocket. Now we can do the same here, too. I think I got most of the trash already. I got some, you, you want to be protected. You don't want to get too close to the train, so we got some railing. And then, of course, the benches are set up so you can check out the Beautiful masonry work that, you know, Barmley is known for. They they painted this, we cleaned it up, it looks great. You can get your tickets down here too. Of course, your little trash can's ready for the ticket receipts, or the stubs, if you will. And then down here at the other end of the train station is a few more seating locations and a couple trash cans. And this is, oh, you can go back to Philville. We were there once. Uh, we don't need to go back there though. They gotta keep that clean now. But down here, so the, this is where our clock was. I've switched this into a little locker room and of course we put our clock back up. The museum took the nice one, but of course we gotta put something back in its place. And I don't think we got to do anything with the office back here, do we? I don't think so. That's actually really nice. I I enjoy that all this was already set up. I don't know if they're running a telemarketing scam out of this train station or not. That seems to be the logical option. Why they need so many computers here. Then of course the bathroom. I've got this set up already. We got our sinks ready to go. Everyone can stay clean. Of course, we've got the paper towel dispenser up top, so you gotta, you gotta work with somebody, get on their shoulders to reach up there. 
And if you don't have a friend, there is the hand dryer down below. And then of course the bathroom, we've got our patented, you know, hand warmer, butt warmer for the seat. Uh, we got paper towels, cause you know, sometimes you need the power bars, you need the paper towels. Sometimes it's, it's not a good time and you need all the help you can get. So I figured this bathroom is set up for the worst. And then, then leaves us with the graffiti, which I don't see any graffiti in here. And looking at the menu, it does say after we clean it, we need to dismantle the scaffolding. So I assume that's what we do now. And we get some more percent, which is fantastic. Wow, we're up to 90%. That wasn't much at all. All right, so we got some cleaning of the floor. I couldn't reach this before. Now that we got rid of the scaffolding, that should take care of that. And of course, we just need to finish laying out this location. So we've got a lot to put up. A lot to do. Let me, I've got some departure boards already here, so let's put these up in the, on the walls. That'll be helpful. Wish there's a little bit of a grid system to where I could line these up a little better. Alright, we need some food machines. Let's go check out food machines. We got a snack. We got a modern one and a coffee. Do one of each. And maybe I'm taking this a little more seriously. Make this look kind of nice. And we we froze there for a second. That was weird. All right, there we go. You got options. You can get food while you're waiting. We need three ticket machines. Let's go ahead. I've been doing the American ticket machine, so it kind of makes sense to buy those and continue. But maybe you're going to Britain. I'm sure you could catch a train there, so... <laughs> Gotta keep your options open, you know? Don't want to be a one-stop shop for just the U.S. No one would come if it's just limited options. Now, now you can get your tickets for both... Uh, the UK and the US. I guess we can't set it in front of this pole. I've had a few issues with clipping or, you know, maybe less than, um, less than you'd hope for tolerances on where you can place items like the, like when I was cleaning or putting the benches, you couldn't put it all the way to the edge, things like that. Let's go ahead and we need three pieces of furniture. What kind of furniture would fit here? Uh, maybe we could put a couple tables out. Oh, you know what? Mailbox would be good. And a couple newspaper stands, because you know what? Those are always hot and heavy. Everyone's looking to get their newspaper. Because it is definitely... 1989 and newspapers are all the rage there we go got our we need some decorations which that tells me we need some plants I wish there was a better way to scroll to this is kind of tedious uh, we could put some cork boards up Oh, we can put some stairs signs. That looks good. Maybe we don't need a bunch of plants after all. Oh, you know what? We got those new stuff too. All the way at the bottom. Let me just keep scrolling here. Oh, a telephone booth. Yeah, let's snag a couple of those. I don't think we've used those yet. And I think that's 10. So let's get these put up. We want the cork boards. Let's start with that first. Oh, that doesn't count. Weird. There's two there. 
have one on the office there and then one by our clock room we need to put up the stair signs so people know that it's stairs here you can go up these stairs it's a safety thing you got to have it for the code I know it doesn't make a lot of sense because most people can see that there are stairs but you also need the sign to let them know and finally our phone booths let's put those where can we put these put it in the middle and two you never know when you forget your cell phone you can jump in there and you'll be set to go we need some trash cans and chairs. I'll be back once I buy that and we'll be good to go. So we've got some recycling bins. Let's put this over by the food. That seems like where people would need them the most. Also, we can put these by the desk here. Maybe people are coming in and they have trash and instead of handing it to the people inside, they can go ahead and use the recycling bins there. And then, of course, we'll put a couple by the phone booth. You never know. And finally, our benches. A lot of benches. I figured, let's get some seating in here instead of having people outside. They can be inside here. Get these somewhat lined up. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to line up and get things to set perfectly. Ooh, we're at 98%. We're almost done. Hopefully this is the last few items we need to place. We'll be wrapping up this location. See, how much room do I have? We've got three more. Okay, we can fit this. We can do this. One, two, and that way people can sit around. We'll be close to the phone booth. We hit our 100% and we've completed this location. But we'll finish this off. Thanks for joining me as we go through Farmly, cleaning this up. We got this place looking spit and span and ready for some productive train station fun, I guess. <laughs> Everyone wants to have fun when they're waiting for their train. If you guys got any suggestions for the series, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if you like the fun take on this, I. You can design this to make it look nice and functional, what a real train station would be. But I think that's kind of boring. I mean, look at that. We got stools sitting out there. That's perfect. And with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I'll occasionally stream live. Thanks. And I'll see you next time at Sim the World.